What is going on guys? I'm out with my buddy Tim from Hammond. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We are out on Lake Lanier. Tim owns one of the premier shops. It's a shop I always love to go to, dude. They have so much stuff and all kinds of like cool intricacy, like JDM, like crazy jerk baits, all kinds of fun stuff. But today, Tim's gonna show you a little rig. You guys know I hate throwing a Carolina rig, but oftentimes it's one of those things that just catches fish. So Tim has a rig called a chicken rig, and basically it's a finesse style Carolina rig. You can throw on a spinning rod, which is exactly what he got, but I'm gonna let him show you exactly how to set it up. So what do you got? Oh, you got line in your mouth. Yeah, it's all good. So basically I'm just tied on like a two odd hook. I like to throw something small on this rig for spots around here. So, I mean, you can put a Kitek on this, um, <clears throat> especially when you get up shallow, you can put a Kitek on it, a little four inch worm, which is what I'm doing right now. So it's an and offset a couple chain of bobber, hook. A couple of bobber stops here to kind of stop it to where you want it. And I can, I can move this up and down to wherever I need it. So, and what, what size weight do you normally use? 316, something light. I'm usually throwing this, you know, I'm sitting, how far are we sitting off the bank here? Like. 25 yeah 25 30 foot yeah so i mean that's usually what i'm doing i'm just kind of flipping this thing around these these trees and stuff like that and it's super weedless it's easy. what's the benefit of this over a carolina rig is it a little more compact lighter, li lighter line lighter when line fish, when you're fishing really shallow for these spots it's so clear here it's just that lighter line really helps and you really don't have to you know if you're up on the points and stuff i won't even text expose this but you know with these trees and stuff i'll just barely text expose it and you're, you're talking about a super light carolina rig so, so that thing really, you can almost it. like glide it on down or do and just you about move whatever it up you and want down whichever way you want i mean as long as you're not casting like trying to make bomb cast with it the weight won't slide with it even on, even on the bobber stops i like to use two to four pound uh bobber stops these are really really small bobber stops but they're good for that lighter line i think i've got eight pound test on this you don't have to set the hook very hard you literally can just pull your rod tip up and just ease into them it's really easy but i think this is a general a four inch general but a three three kai tech works really well on this as well so, and do you drag it or yeah, do all you... you're doing is dragging it it's really really simple it's literally throw it up there and just ease it back it's a really slow, light Carolina rig, and you know this time of year, yeah. it's ball and chain time. And you can fish it in close quarters too. You you fishing, like I flip it around docks. All kinds That's of that stuff. pretty so, cool. I mean, you can put it down the side of these blowdowns. You just caught one off of that blowdown right there on a power net. So, right. I mean, you'll, you'll catch them on this up there as well. It just it gives it a little different action when everybody else is out here with a shaky head. Everybody else is out here with a wacky rig. Everybody's doing a drop shot deal very few people are doing this and it's just it's, it's easy breezy you know what's really cool about this too one thing i've noticed on on lanier is you'll be going down the bank and like you'll catch a few fish in 10 foot five foot and then all of a sudden you'll see one on a bed dude and we've always talked about like using a drop shot on a bed to kind of elevate the bait and what's nice with this rig is you can kind of fish it tool it around kind of like you would a net but if you do see a fish on a bed you can slide that thing down and either fish it just like a texas rig you know with that weight right in front of the right in front of the bait or you can give it a little bit of a dangle leader dude so you can kind of flip it out there have that bait elevate and glide down because oftentimes that that first glide down is one of the most important things when it comes to bed fishing but it gives you a lot of versatility and we always talk about about being more efficient with your setups having something that you can do three four five different things with and that's a great example so hit that like and subscribe button go check out tim at hammonds we're gonna go back and catch some fish <laughs> 